another week, another run. Slowly getting towards the finish line now. Back on the treadmill, giving my left knee a bit of protection. Spent the day yesterday doing a bit of rehabbing for it. Just kind of plodding along right now. Still in the tapering, so everything's quite light at the moment. Just trying to get to the start line without any injuries. I am testing out the new watch. It has an indoor mode where apparently it'll be able to tell my distance for the treadmill. So then that'll link with Strava. So then I still get my Strava stats without needing to be like running outside. Now right, let's get going. Run done. Solid run, some knee pain, but not enough to make it a worry for the amount of time I've got to recover it. The missing toenail, I can feel that, needs to get wrapped up because it is an uncomfortable feeling having the flesh of your toenail bed attached to your sock. Brother, ugh. I've not really decided what I'm gonna do tomorrow, so I guess you guys will see as I go. Friday. Quarter to nine, off out for a run. I actually don't know what distance I'm gonna do today. I'm kind of playing it by ear. See what my knees are feeling like. Just have fun with it. It's the first day this week that isn't minus degrees, so we've gone for short sleeves and shorts. It is still about five degrees, but it's what being northern's about, isn't it? Pretending that you don't feel the cold. <laughs> I'm also gonna have one of these energy gel uh, carbohydrate gel things because I've bought some for my long run and people say they're disgusting so I need to give them a try. I need to make sure A I can stomach it because I don't need to be throwing up on the run and I need to know there's no adverse effect for me. Every time I don't run without my hat I very quickly realise why I always run with a hat on. This is actually better than usual as well. Usually when my hair's longer, I get proper curtains. I look like some little posh boy. Um, good run. I did get a bit excited because my knee felt good at first and went fast, so I didn't have time to try the gel. So I'll show you guys what my first reaction is. Um, hopefully, I don't gag and throw up. Time to give this bad boy a try. 25 grams of carbs, orange flavored. I was never too apprehensive about these things before. But then so many people have been saying how disgusting they are that now I'm slightly worried. I'm gonna just immediately throw up. So I hope not. God, they're not exactly easy to open considering they're meant to be had on a run. That's fine, that's lovely. A little bit salty, but it's an electrolyte thing. Of course it's gonna be. Quite nice. God, people really are fucking fannies, aren't they? Jesus. How can you complain so much about this? Do you know who is complaining about this? It's my dad. He's the one who made me really doubt that they were going to be something I'd be able to have, but they're great. That is week seven done and dusted. The person that I want to thank this week is my friend Anna. Honestly, I don't even think I have the vocabulary to explain just how great a person she is. And just how much she helped me get to this point and hopefully to achieve the final run whether it be the sheer generosity of her donation all the way to the fact that she didn't miss a single chance to tell me she was proud of me or the fact that she is the only person throughout this entire training since I said I was doing this who has shown nothing but confidence Obviously, a fair few people have rightfully questioned whether I'll be able to finish it, especially my train has not been great. She, at no point, has thought I wouldn't do it, or at least has not vocalised that to me. And just the support from her has been insane. She is the perfect example of what you should be in as a friend. Just one of the most amazing people I've ever met. And I could never thank her enough for her help and support throughout this training. And that's it really, on to week 8 now, 